The final thing we're going to look at in this section is an introduction and end slide. As you'll see on mine, I like to have a very quick one sentence introduction of welcome to this video. This is going to be all about makeup tutorial for an evening look. And then I cut to my branded introduction slide. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bargain haul from Germany. This slide should be really, really short, like five seconds, because um, people really want to get to the content of the video, but I think it makes it look really professional. So it's my blog layout, my blog branding, it's animated, and it just says what kind of video it's going to be. So whether it's travel, fashion, haul, beauty, that kind of thing. And then it gets into the main bulk of the video. But I find it just makes it very professional, very vibrant, and has a little bit of music in the background as well that's just from the YouTube audio library. Then at the end, I do an end slide. And you probably will have seen these already when you're watching videos, but they're really, really useful. As you'll know, when your video fully ends, YouTube comes up with a bunch of recommendations of other things for them to watch. Hopefully, if you've used our unique tag hack from earlier, most of those recommendations will be your own channel. But they probably won't all be, and they might hardly be at all. So what I also like to do is, before you even reach that point, have a slide come up where I've included a recommended video for you to watch next. See you again soon. Bye! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be an epic thrift haul from my visit to Germany. So let's start off with accessories. The first thing I got is this really cute little... It's clickable using annotations and it means that the person will then be more likely to click that and stay within your channel rather than going over to somebody else's. So I have a thank you for watching. Some people also have their social media links and it's also very good to have a subscribe button right at the end there just in case they still haven't, but they might. As I said, you want to ask for subscriptions as often as possible. So I have my end slide. Again, it's the matching branding to my opening slide and also to my blog and also to my channel header. So everything looks really professional and it's just one last chance to keep them around. To add annotations, all you do is go onto the edit section of your video click the annotations box and drag the square out over whichever section you want to annotate. Then that box will appear sort of invisible, sort of visible, just enough so that it doesn't ruin the look, but your users are able to know that it's clickable. There are a lot of other annotations you can add as well, such as text, but I normally find the aesthetics of them doesn't look very good, but it is an option. I would normally recommend instead that you add your own text nicely in whatever editing software you're using and then put an annotation over the text to make it clickable. But it's up to you. It depends how much time you have to dedicate to that kind of thing. I also, throughout my video, if I'm mentioning another relevant video, for example, I recently did a charity shop haul and I was saying in my last charity shop haul, you will have seen blah, blah, blah. And while I was saying that, I had the video come up and play in the corner next to me without the sound, but just the previous charity shop haul. And I had that as clickable with an annotation. So if they want, they can also go and view that video or open it as a tab to watch later. And all of those are just little ways to keep people around watching your videos for as long as possible. 